So it uh, kind of chilly and overcast yesterday, and it started out chilly today. Is the sun going to come out later? I think we'll see some occasional sun, Karen, but I, I certainly don't want to promise too much because these clouds that we have are pretty thick, and I think they're going to be with us really most of today. You can see the view right now from Denton. Normally, we have a really great sunrise on this view from UNT's campus. Not so much today, though. We've got that gray sky. You can see just barely the sunrise there on the horizon, but uh, just enough clearing to see some of those colors. It's 47 degrees there, by the way, so it is a chilly start from Denton and really from all of North Texas. As we take a look at these numbers, coat weather back with us to start today. 45 McKinney, 43 Decatur, back around Bridgeport, it's 42. A couple spots, 50 degrees, that's Dallas and Mesquite, but the take home is that it's chilly across the board. Today's forecast, cool, but not as cold as yesterday. I think it will be a little easier to be out and about. And one of the big reasons is because it's not going to be nearly as windy. We'll keep winds on the light side about 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's a east southeast wind too, not that gusty north wind of yesterday. And our temperatures will get into the low 60s with mostly cloudy sky. Through this week, of course, it is a holiday week. I know we're all watching this forecast closely. We've got a lot of ups and downs, and it's because we've got two cold fronts to move through. One of those later tomorrow, another one as we get to Friday. You can see Thursday, Thanksgiving looking good still. Temperatures will be around 70. Let's start with cold front number one, though. As we move on through the next 24 hours, we're going to keep those clouds on the high side. So we will see mostly cloudy conditions. Getting into tomorrow, some isolated showers will be possible, but I think our better chance is in the afternoon. Scattered showers, isolated storms, mainly for locations east of I-35. Not everyone gets the rain tomorrow. That front will pass through. We'll dry out for Wednesday. And then again, our next chance for rain is going to arrive on Friday, up to a 50% chance as we move on into the end of the week. So the days leading up to Thanksgiving, our wet weather from Tuesday pushes off Wednesday through the Midwest and through the Southeast. It's actually pushing across the East Coast for a soggy Thanksgiving. But here in North Texas, we will get our dry break on Thursday, looking good for the holiday. It's Friday where we start to bring in that rain again. Friday into Saturday, some showers and storms moving into uh, the central U.S. That'll be here in the Lone Star State, spreading into the southeast. And that will be enough to cool us back down. The coolest forecast Saturday and Sunday where highs are in the 50s.